only saw him once. Um, <coughs> uh, there's a legendary actor among us named Mike Reynolds. Yep. And um, I, he was something like a, a scribe or a sprite or something. He would show up in an episode and explain something. Was he pink? Possibly. Yeah. I, and again, we don't get to see the whole episodes. We we get to do our parts, you know. And so if I'm in this part of the scene, then they skip to the next one. I have no idea. Um, but uh, when I did, when I did the episode with the hot and cold running water out of my legs, <laughs> um, Terry Lee uh, said, "Oh, well, I'm going to make a copy of this episode for you." Oh, no, okay, thanks. So I, and I took it home and I actually showed it to my family. I went to visit my family and I played it. And at the end of the episode, not knowing this, suddenly uh -oh. the Mike Reynolds character shows up. Now, Mike Reynolds is also legendary in my family because I tell Reynolds stories. And I do his voice. Mike Reynolds sounds like this, you know. <laughs> you know. Who the hell are you? you know? <laughs> and so uh, I always do that, so they're always laughing. Well, at the end of the episode, unbeknownst to me, his character does appear. And he'd come and say, yes, well, all of you managed to survive that. Very good job. And my family's rolling on the ground laughing. <laughs> so am I, because I didn't know why he was going to be there. But yeah, I, I particularly enjoyed that. But honestly, uh, when I watched all the kids, uh, I wish I was able to do voices like that, because they had just wonderful stuff to do. So I enjoyed it greatly and wish I could have done that. But when you sound like this, you, know, you don't get many child roles. <laughs> Um, characters that I've enjoyed watching. <laughs> Define enjoyment. <them. laughs> um, so, when I got to see some of season one, um, and this was only way after it was recorded, like when it was on Netflix for a while, and you were able to watch it on Netflix. I don't remember the, the name of the, the character. I just remember what she looked like. And it didn't matter what she was saying. <laughs> the, 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 the girl who had the cowboy hat? Mimi! 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, man! It's like, you just keep on them with that country southern drawl, girl. <laughs> It doesn't matter what you're saying or what the episode's about. It doesn't matter who's getting killed around you. I don't care. <laughs> Just keep talking. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Um, Just keep digivolving, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was uh, somebody that I enjoyed. Um, it, <laughs> how much time do we have left? How about, we doing on time, we're doing about, about seven, seven minutes. minutes. Seven minutes. Seven minutes. Okay. okay. Um, I do want to make sure I talk about this because it's extremely important. Um, and I'm going to try not to break down oh. while I'm doing this. Oh. Out of all of these seasons, that we got to do. I have probably heard more comments about season two than any other season. And one of the reasons for that is because of the, the powerful writing that it had. Um, if you guys know of people who haven't had an opportunity to watch the show, and you're able to, um, either through Netflix or through DVD, and let's say maybe it's, you know, if you know somebody who maybe wants to watch anime and just hasn't had an opportunity to do so, I strongly urge you to let them watch that, especially if it is a person who um, didn't necessarily have a good childhood or has maybe had problems at home. I have, I can't tell you the countless number of times that I've heard from fans that it was because of this show, specifically, that I was able to move on as a human and um, move on with my life. Or it was because of this show that I didn't kill myself. Or it was because of this show that 
I learned that I'm okay as far as who I am, and, it, and I don't have to change who I am. Um, and the effect that that has had on me from all of these fans over the years, so powerful to be able to be a part of that. Um, so that was just me as an actor saying, as a plea for you guys, if you know people that are in that type of situation, whatever it might be, introduce them to the show. Absolutely. The um, one thing again about the writing was that uh, these were shows that uh, told little kids who felt isolated and felt all alone that you can have friends and you can be part of the group as you are, yep. accepting yourself, the acceptance involved. Um, thank you. I still don't accept myself. <laughs> as a matter of fact, I, I take exception to myself a lot. Um, it happened with us when we were doing the uh, Bebop panel. Uh, one woman came up and, you know, I can break down. Oh. <laughs> but uh, she came up to us, each of us, on the uh, stage, uh, to Bo and to me and to Steve. And she said, Cowboy Bebop kept me from killing myself. Something that we do uh, in our storytelling uh, does touch people and make a difference. Uh, one example of it, going all the way back to Robotech, there's one guy that I see at uh, cons who said to us, he said, Robotech changed my life. I was a bad kid. I was on a bad road. And I watched Robotech, and there was a squadron of people who were loyal to each other, who had a cause, something to fight for. He hadn't been introduced to that. Whatever was bad in his life uh, made things difficult for him. Uh, he had never seen that before. He watched Robotech, he said, I joined the military after that. He says, I straightened my life out. And that is, it's, again, people, well, they're just cartoons. They're stories. Yeah. They're parables sometimes. And uh, when in uh, something like Digimon, where a little kid might be sitting in front of a TV and doesn't have any close friends and feels weird because uh, of the stuff he or she likes. Um, and yet, there they are, all the kids from all different, uh, with different problems, and yet they stick together. And that kind of a story does make an, an, an impression on a five or six year old kid. So we've, we've been part of that, and that's, it's an honor, really an honor. Sorry, I didn't mean to bring it down, really. <laughs> you know, yeah, I just nice feels in this room. The feels in this room. <laughs> with you know kids of, of today and, and just to get that out there. Well it's an honor to have the people who are willing to do that for us too though. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, Taylor. I just want to comment you guys compliment you guys on your handling of situations like that. There's so many little things that happen that are bad influences and I love the fact that there are people out there like <laughs> um, but where, where you guys are, are good influences and you're, you're, you're taking these stories and you're spreading the word and spreading the love. Yeah. Compliments you guys both. Thank you so much. 